So now I'm proud to introduce Secretary Pete Buttigieg, whose leadership... There. That's... No, come on out! It's there! No, come on! I was... That's what I want to see. And he's a Michigander, Michiganian now. I was going to say good things to you. How about Representative Debbie Dingell? I'm so excited to be with you. My name is Pete Buttigieg. I have the best job in the federal government because I have the privilege of being out there every day seeing the good work that is happening to improve and modernize America's infrastructure under President Joe Biden's leadership. And, to, and we're excited that it's being built by union workers with the skills that you bring, the benefits you deserve, and the wages that you've earned. Just since getting this job, I've been to every one of America's 50 states, and earlier today I was in Lansing. We were celebrating and marking construction where 127 meets 496. I think a lot of you know about the headache of that interchange. We're fixing it. And it's one of 60,000 projects getting support from the Biden-Harris infrastructure vision. We're so proud of it. We are improving commutes, we are supporting the economy, and with the safety improvements, we're also saving lives with these projects. But it's not just about what we build. It's about how we build it. It's about who gets to build it. And yes, that includes supporting the good-paying union jobs that this construction represents. And we're seeing... All of the trades benefiting. Over in Lansing, we were with the laborers. We got any laborers here? We we're the operating engineers. The laborers, operating engineers, carpenters, and others we saw there. We got some carpenters, all right. 175,000 miles of roadway getting improved in this country. And you are doing the work. Then uh, we toured a training facility with IBEW. I don't know if anybody's heard of the electrical workers. Who, among many other things, are installing and maintaining America's growing network of electric vehicle chargers. It's doubled to over 190,000 just since Joe Biden took office, and there's more where that came from. And how about our UA plumbers and pipe fitters? Thank you for having us over. You know, I realize with folks from Local 333, they have a problem that is what we call a good problem to have. they got to build a new, bigger training facility to fit all those apprentices that they're signing up. And a big thanks to Local 190 for hosting us here. Look, uh, uh, the pattern is clear. Union workers are getting more work, and it's making all of America stronger. One of the apprentices I met earlier today, I asked her what this apprenticeship meant to her. She said the apprenticeship and the license she's about to get means freedom for her. It will be the freedom to live where she wants, the freedom to know that she can work on different projects, and the freedom that comes with knowing that your future is secure. And then there was another, there was a German, journeyman there who talked about what was most exciting for him about all this. It wasn't the income that was coming to him, is that he was in a position to help sponsor Little League and help with football and make his community a better place. And that's what we see again and again. When we support union workers, those union workers are supporting families and communities that make every American better off. This is what America's infrastructure comeback looks like, but it didn't just happen. Otherwise, it would have happened all along. This is hard work, and not everyone had President Biden's back when he led the charge to do all this, but you did, and we're never going to forget it. We are seeing the difference between an administration that talks the talk and leadership that walks the walk. In fact, literally, because we're about 20 miles from where President Biden made history as the first sitting president to walk a picket line with the UAW. That is walking the walk. Walking the walk means saving the pensions of millions of workers with the Butch Lewis Act. Walking the walk means getting serious about prevailing wage in Davis-Bacon like we have in the Biden-Harris administration. And yes, it means launching the biggest round of American infrastructure investments in over 70 years. So we are fired up. And, and slash but, we know there's more to do. 
And that's the historic moment you are about to see, because in a few moments, President Biden will announce further steps to expand and cement that progress that's been made. That includes project labor agreements, that includes registered apprenticeships, includes making sure that every worker feels the benefits of this moment. Because if there's one thing I've seen in my travels across the country in this job, it's that union workers aren't just building roads and bridges and factories and airports. You're building livelihoods. I see it everywhere I go. I see it in the stories and the faces of the workers and the apprentices that we meet. They are standing taller. They are walking prouder knowing that better future we're building together. And that's why I'm excited to be here, because that is what America's infrastructure decade looks like, and you're the ones making it happen. Yeah. So with that, I have the pleasure and privilege of introducing to you a great friend of American workers and a great friend of mine, not to mention a great colleague in President Biden's cabinet. Please welcome your acting United States Secretary of Labor, Julie Sue.